Greetings. My name is Darren B-Side Young. I'm the Director of Business Development for DOS Audio of America, and I'm here at our sunny South Florida headquarters to let you know about the new Action 500 series. And here we have the little mouse that roared. This is the Action 508A. Don't let the little size fool you. This speaker is very compact, ultra portable. Comes under just under 30 pounds, about 28 pounds. It does have a monitor wedge angle with feet, so you can use it. It is the perfect little front of house or DJ monitor. You can turn the logo off and on in the settings. It does have rubber feet and the handle is actually built into the top of the cabinet. Here you've got your power con connection with your power switch and your fuse. Again, we've got the heat sink and our DOS control mixer and interface. Like the rest of the full range cabinets, remember the eight inch, 12 inch, 15 inch and dual 15 inch models are all using the same interface with the same DSP that give you the same default settings. The monitor is the only one that gives you a slightly different DSP preset for default. You've got, your, again, your two channel mixer with an eighth inch aux in, which is tied to channel one. You do have your mix output. You can switch between channels one or two for the output. I'll leave it in between for the mix. Again, uh, authentic Neutric combo jack connections allows you to connect a mic or a line or an instrument and it'll automatically balance the impedance for you and you control the input with the gain knobs here. You press the encoder to activate the DSP. I've got channels one and two input. I've got the output again, very similar like the monitor, your dB level. I've got the EQ setting here. I have a live preset, which is the default compared to the monitor. And then I have my delay and my crossover reading here. So now we're gonna go and enter the settings here. I've got live is the default. You have the option of live, dance, or monitor mode. Very similar to the rest of the family. You have your high pass filter, which is just either off or on. You have the delay, which you can arrange in feet or meters using your options. And to go into the options again here, I've got brightness, the contrast, the dimming, the logo on off. Remember that it can be logo on off or limit. I have the menu lock, which is great to lock out unwanted use. I'll show you that on this feature. I'll turn the menu lock on. I have the delay number of units currently set to feet. I can adjust that to meters if I wish. And if I have any problems or I need to troubleshoot, I can hit reset device and it will reset everything to the factory settings. Again, I press information and it gives me the model number and the firmware that I'm looking at here. So I'm gonna make some minor changes. I'm gonna switch it from live to dance mode. I'm gonna put the high pass filter on as if I have a sub connected. I will put a delay of let's say nine feet. And now I'll go back and you can see all of the rating information letting me know I'm now at dance mode. I've got nine feet. I do have it on crossover for sub. And after a few seconds, of not engaging the DSP or the controls, the system should automatically lock. And in order to unlock it, I would have to depress the encoder to unlock it because I have just turned the menu lock on. I have not password protected it. So now let's see, after a few seconds, I am now trying to adjust the volume of the encoder and it is letting me know that it is completely locked. I have to push the encoder to unlock it. If it was password protected, I would actually have to scroll in and input the passcode to unlock the unit. Remember, that's great if you're gonna be deploying the system or letting someone else borrow your speakers or renting them out to perhaps someone who's not as familiar with Pro Audio Gear. Again, these are all wonderful features of the Action 500 series with the DOS control. Again, full range cabinets, single eight inch, single 12 inch, 
single 15 inch, double 15 inch, are all using the same presets and controls. The monitor does default to monitor mode and the monitor does have power con in and through and all of the subwoofers for the double 18 and the S118 bass horn have a power con in and through as well. If you want to know more, make sure you check out www.dosaudio.com and you can visit us on social media. It is at DOS Audio USA for Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.